Hello mathematicians, today we are going to see how does special relativity affect the GPS. The GPS, or Global Positioning System, is a navigation tool used by millions of people every day. It is used in planes, it is used in farming, it is used in the construction of roads. But how does the GPS actually work? Well, it's pretty simple. Let's see with the example of triangulation. Imagine your point A and you want to be located with the help of the points Y and X. The triangulation method will help you find yourself with this method. In order to avoid the confusion between those two points, the triangulation method is done in three dimensions so that there is no possible error. Around the globe, there are 30 satellites that stay at an orbital distance of 20,000 kilometers and that fly at an orbital speed of 14,000 kilometers per hour. Those satellites are always transmitting signals and those signals are picked up by a GPS receiver. Each signal contains information on where the satellite is and what time the, sin the signal has been sent. And in order to attain an incredible accuracy, there are a total of four satellites that tell the GPS position. In order to be so accurate, satellites have atomic clocks inside, which are the most accurate clocks in the world. And here, is where special relativity intervenes. As Einstein said, motion alters time. For instance, we see time running slower for a clock moving relative to us. Two types of relativity affect the GPS synchronization. Special relativity makes Clocks run 7 microseconds slower every day and general relativity make clocks run 45 microseconds faster every day. So overall every day clocks run 38 microseconds faster. And so here is our special relativity equation uh, where we can see the moving clock delta t prime and this will differ from a rest frame clock delta t. We can also see v which is the speed of the object compared to us and c which is the speed of light. We can also write this formula in another form with gamma and this is called the Lorentz factor after the physicist Hendrik Lorentz which used this equation in relativity. And now let's show how important it is for the clocks to be synchronized and so let's start the calculations. So here we have the special relativity formula. And so here are some facts such as the speed of the satellite in meters per second 
and uh, delta t prime for one day in seconds too. And here is the speed of light in meters per second too. And so here we go. Our aim is to find delta t prime minus delta t. Let's go. To conclude with, we can say that the mistake of localization due to special relativity would be about 2 kilometers, which is huge, and if we add um, general relativity, it would be 11 kilometers. So that's why we really need synchronization between clocks, and that is also why Reactivity is very important in understanding the GPS. Thank you very much.